Boy Scout camp also got caught up in the storm. We're going to go back outside our studios to forewarn meteorologist Mike Saika. He's out there with News 4's Luke Moretti. Guys, how's it looking? Well, you know, Don, things have improved significantly, at least across the uh, Buffalo Metro, the Niagara Frontier this afternoon. Just looking at some clouds in the sky right now, Luke. And, you know, uh, it's one thing to watch the severe weather from the safety of your home. But that was not the case for some Boy Scouts out of Wyoming County last night down in Colesville. And my colleague Luke Moretti checked in on them today. How did they fare during the you night? You are down absolutely there? right. It is one thing to be inside, you have a roof overhead, you have some cover, but to be outside in the elements in a tent is a completely different story. And that was the case for hundreds of Scouts in Wyoming County. It's business as usual today at Camp Sholkoff here in Wyoming County, but overnight, wild weather moved across the camp. It was thundering and it was lightning and it was hard rain. It, was it scary. sucked. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hundreds of scouts and their leaders braved a show of force by Mother Nature. There was a lot of lightning, a lot of thunder. Camp director Dave Horton says there's a safety plan in place if needed. Where we have uh, removal to a hard uh, top area. So like this, uh, some of the campsites on the other side of the lake here who are in tents, they would move over here uh, under the hard uh, roofs. Scoutmaster Paul Rudds of Troop 618 in Elma says they were not about to take any chances. We had one boy, we, uh, we uh, vacated his tent. We moved him to a different place just for the placement of the trees and we tied down the tent flaps. As expected, these scouts braved the storm, which passed through without causing any problems. But it sure was the talk of the camp. I thought that there, that there might have been a tornado going on because of all the heavy wind and lightning, but good thing there wasn't. It's a weather story not just for the youngsters to tell, but also the scout leaders here at the campsite. Felt it was right on top of us. The thunder was rumbling, the tents were nice and loud. We made it through okay, though. Being out in the elements and, and, and you know, having the storm come through, uh, you know, that's part of being a scout, right? Yep. yep. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely, you got to deal with that a lot in scouting. You know, we did uh, get a couple of emails from parents uh, concerned about their kids at the camp, so we decided to take a ride down there and check it out. They're okay. Everything is fine. They're in good shape. They're scouts. They are prepared. And Wyoming County, by the way, wasn't the only place hard hit by the weather, oh, right? Sure. Can I describe the weather that one scout did? You know? Sure, absolutely. <laughs> I don't think you can do it like he did, though. You know, there's no doubt. It was a rough yeah. night across yeah. the area and a rough